Okay, so what we've done right now is um, I've given you a function, so f of x, and I've asked you to find the inverse. Now we're looking at something slightly different, very, very similar. I've given you two functions. Um, so this is your first example, f of x equals 3x plus 9, and g of x equals 1 third x minus 3. So now my question to you guys is, are these inverses of one another? And the way that we're going to do that um, is called the composition of functions. So basically, we're taking one of these functions and we're putting it into the other one, and then vice versa. Uh, so you'll see, uh, we're going to start with the composition. So f of g of x. Okay, This is just a fancy way of writing. Basically, we're going to take g of x and we're going to input it into f of x. That's basically what that means. Okay, um, so I'm going to figure out f of g of x. So I'm going to take g of x and I'm going to put it into f of x. Okay, and I'm going to put it into f of x where the x is. Okay, so my f of x function is 3 times x, but instead of x, I'm going to put in g of x. Okay, so I'm going to replace x with 1 third x minus 3, and then plus 9. Okay, so f of g of x is basically just saying, okay, take g's function and put it into the x in, of f of x. Okay, so f of g of x. Um, so now I'm going to just simplify this. 3 times 1 third x, that gives me x. 3 times 1 third is 1, okay, but we don't need that one. 3 times negative 3 is minus 9, then bring down a plus 9, okay? That leaves me negative 1 or negative 9 plus 9 is 0, so I've got x plus 0, which obviously I don't need the zero. So all I did was take g of x and I plugged it into f of x and I got x. Now we need to check the other composition. Okay. So I'll draw my line here. I'm going to do this time g of f of x. So I'm going to take f of x function and I'm going to input it into g's. So that's going to give me one third. Instead of x, I'm going to put my f of x function. So I'm going to put 3x plus 9 minus 3. Okay, so I'm doing the same thing I did over here. I'm just flip-flopping it. Okay, so f of x is going to go into g of x function. Now I'm going to distribute this. 1 third times 3x. 1 third times 3 is 1x. 1 third times 9 is plus 3. And then I'll bring down my minus 3. Okay. I obviously don't need that one there. So I'm left with x. A positive 3 minus a 3 is 0. But you guys know I don't need that plus 0. So I'm left with x again. Okay. You know that two functions are inverses of one another. If the composition, if both compositions give you x. So my f of g of x gave me x. And my g of f of x gave me x. So yes, f of x and g of x are inverse functions. Okay, so you take the composition of each. If they are both x, they both end in x after you simplify, then yes, f of x and g of x are inverse functions. If we ended up with something down here that is not just an x, they are not inverse functions.